Hi everyone. Okay, what do I do with all my little scraps of paper, you ask? Well, you know, you might want to know. So, um, I thought I would show you guys um, what I do with all my itty bitty scraps. Okay, so what I do is I grab junk mail like this, I don't know, real estate catalogue and I stick my papers on here. So this is the one that I've um, kept underneath the house here in the dungeon. Um, so this is what I use. So every time I rip something up or make something, um, whatever I have left over, um, I stick on here, plus slowly go through my tub of junk. Yeah. So that one is a work in progress down here. So I'll just put this over here out of the road. Okay. These ones were what I did upstairs um, a while ago. So as you can see, um, when I made my envelopes out of junk mail, um, out of security envelopes, when I made those embellishments um, and pockets and stuff, I used the excess ink to decorate and um, give different layers to my paper. So this one here is just a Bunnings catalogue, so it will probably come you know, like that. So I just open it up and use my junk mail. Um, it makes it nice and sturdy. So that was one of the ones that I've done. Um, and then I put a layer of um, PVA glue, just normal wood glue. Um, I paint over the top when I'm doing my napkins and things like that. I'll wipe my paintbrush on these. So there's no waste. Um, once these are completed, then they're ready to be used for whatever purpose. So this was one of the ones um, I was doing upstairs. This one here's another one. So while I watch everyone's YouTube um, or movies on Netflix or Stan, um, I glue down my scraps. <laughs> <laughs> I make things. Um, as you can see, I've used my favourite little stencil on here. Um, but yeah, so this is the end result. And you can do so many things with them. This one was when I was making my journaling cards um, for my Etsy. Um, I was putting the leftover um, napkins and bits and pieces on here. This one... I've literally just finished last night. So I've brought that downstairs because I'm ready to um, put a layer of lacquer over a basket that I've made. So I'll put the basket on top of here and I'll give it a good... So, all, you know, all the lacquer will drip onto here and then I'll give it a good um, paint ready to go. So this one will be ready to use soon. This one here also lives upstairs, but I've brought it downstairs for this little um, show and tell. So as you can see, I've started um, collaging this one. This one was just, a, I think it's Anaconda, maybe? Anaconda or a camping catalogue. Austrail. There you go. Austrail. Um, so yes, Tent World. <laughs> there we go, Tent World. So it's just a Tent World catalogue. Um, so anyway, let's get on to what I actually, um, make out of them. All right, let me just get rid of this one. This was one of the ones, um, that I've also done. As you can see, I've used bits of it, so I'll continue on with that one. Okay, so let me grab my little drop sheet here so this is the one that lives downstairs so I'll just open this up um, into the middle if I can find the middle there we go okay so this has been um, when I run over with PVA there's probably a bit of Mod Podge on there um, 
I've stuck some, I don't know whether you can see, but I've stuck some um, bits of string um, and leftover threads. Oh, my God, that's just a little doodle <laughs> that I drew. Um, so here's some cotton. So, yeah, it just adds little bits of texture. Okay, I'm just going to grab a sip of my coffee here, guys. It just helps me not to um, cough on camera. So let's get started. Okay, so what I might do is just with this, I've got this little random box here full of tags, um, cardboard, um, stationery tags, just stuff that I've kept um, off of stuff that I found when I was cleaning my dungeon. Look, there's even a <laughs> Panadol, some, you know, just tags. Um, so I've got a little selection here. And I've also got in there, this here is one of my many scraps of paper. So this is what I've collected in my dungeon when I've cleaned it up. It took me like days and it's still a mess, guys. Um, but I found all of this. So all this has to be used. Um, otherwise, it goes in the bin. <laughs> I know. So it's use it or lose it. Um, so this is my goal to get through this. Um, so all this will eventually be ripped up and stuck onto these, which will then be turned into tags and other things. Anyway, as I was saying, so let's get started. So randomly pick from here. How about we use some of these um, tissue things? You know, the little tabs that you pull off the top of your tissue boxes? That's a bit of cardboard off a mother box, so we can use that as well. But we'll just get rid of a couple of these. Now, you want a good glue um, because it's textured, so it's not smooth. Um, so you need a good glue that actually helps stick. Um, you can always sew it at the end, you know, which I will probably do anyway. But it just helps better grip. Um, I haven't sanded this. It's got a bit of a gloss, but... It'll, it'll stick. This is not a bad glue. This is a glue that I have I get from Officeworks. Um, I like this glue. So let me just stick this on here. So whatever's left over from here will eventually become part of one of these. Um, so that's the way that works. Let me just get my scissors and I'll just trim that straight down here. And I'll grab my cards. Actually, a brayer might be better here. I've got my paint brayer. Just helps push that lumpy background here onto the card. Alright. So we now give this a trim. Not very good at cutting, guys. <laughs> but that's okay. It's not meant to be perfect. So we'll snip, snip, snip. And there we have. A little tag so once we've done that then we can dig around in our box of goodies here and try and find which I probably don't have oh look I've got brown paper I do have brown paper so I can use that on the back of this yeah why not so I'll put some glue on here. So this is just using up scrap episode. Um, what you can do with all your scraps. And recycle as we go. Alrighty. And 
And once again, this brown paper will become part of the next collage, which I will show you in a minute. So like I said, while I'm watching everyone's videos um, and watching some the odd movie here or there, um, oh, make some tags. Like I said, I'm not very good at cutting, even with a guide to follow. But so I'll whip that off there. And this now will become... part of this so I do this as I go because that way I'm not putting scraps back in to where do you want to live help me out here where do you want to live how about here there we go you live there just push that down like that Alrighty. Um, this here is just a little stamp I made out of hot glue. I was trying, I was fiddling with my hot glue gun, trying to be friends with it because we're definitely not friends. I can tell you that right now. And I was trying to be friendly, um, and it didn't work. It didn't stick. I think the glue's like a hundred years old though. <laughs> I bought it probably the same time as I bought the. Um, hot glue gun which was <laughs> many years ago look it's here I will become friends with it one day um, but yeah the glue I, I'm not sure whether it's supposed to look yellow um, but <laughs> that's what it is it's um but anyway it didn't quite work so I made a stamp out of it um, which I should have kept, but I ripped the hot glue off and I did use the cardboard. So I should have kept it as a stamp, but I will do that. Um, I'm going to make some more of those. It was quite fun. So I can do that with my hot glue. I can make a mess. That's what I can do. So yeah, so this is just randomly sticking this down. Just wherever I find a home. That way it's not going in the bin and it's not going back in my pile of paper. Stick you there. Oh, sorry, I'm off off the screen. All right. So now we've done. Oh, I'll just drop my glue. Hang on, guys. Did it land face down? No, that's amazing. All right. So these here. I just want to do these while I'm here. Otherwise, they will end up back in the pile, and I don't want them in the pile. So, we'll stick that along here. And you can go... There we go. So now we've made this. Um, this is ready to be inked. It's ready to be embellished with, I don't know, a nice flower picture or um, a bit of scrap fabric and a, you know, doily or um, anything. You can sew it. Um, this is just a blank canvas for me. So it's there ready to go. Um, for when I need it so um, I am in the process of doing up some happy mails so um, these will be in there okay so there's that so this is a little box here guys that I've um, well three done um, it's not just with scraps. Um, I've used my painty papers on here. That's another one of these um, tissue box 
tags um, and I've just lined it with some tea dyed paper on the back that's just a book page with some graph paper on the back of that's actually a bit of cardboard um, out of here something like this um, another one this is off a collage that's using napkins and a bit of scrapbooking paper that I got sent from somebody um, another little tag more collaging painty papers um, but yeah like I said these are just blank canvases ready for me to make ACTs out of um, tags journaling cards anything really so it's another way to get rid of your scraps and whatever painty papers I have left over from making these um, also go, goes on to here so okay so let me use this envelope I want to use this envelope up so all I've done is just slip down the sides to open this up I don't think that's going to be big enough no okay we'll put you over here and I'll grab another one of these I don't want this one this is the one I'm working on upstairs um, yeah I haven't finished glossing that one um, I might use this one here so I'll use that one and let's get started All right. so with this envelope I'm just going to cover the whole lot because it's going to become just a little journal or notebook so what do I want on the front and what do I want on the back I suppose it doesn't matter does it all right let's just do it let's do it all right so I'm going to stick it over the whole lot I'm not going to worry about this um, window um, you can use PVA glue but I just find the PVA glue is a little bit wet for the um, security envelope and it becomes flimsy um, and it will fall apart so at least with the glue uh, glue stick it doesn't make the paper wet and like I said this one is a good one um, it's um, yeah I like this one a lot okay that will do I think that will stick enough because I will sew around the outside of this so we'll just put that in that the middle of where I've stuck everything I'll just move that down a little bit I try and stick and keep in the frame so my paper will be like within that frame so I know where to put put things but like I said you don't worry too much about you know unless you want to cut the window out specifically um, so do that so I'll just grab what do I do with my card there it is and I will just run that over the top of that just to help that really stick awesome okay so let's chop this out chop that up Whoa, this is gonna look so yummy 
and just cut down down there. So I will keep some of those, not all of them actually. I'll probably just keep that one. It's got a fair bit of colour left on it. And these will become part of my collage. This one can go in my recycle bin. And we're set. Look at that. Doesn't that look yummy, guys? Look at that. Okay, let me fold this up. Just need a ruler. To recrease that. Mm. It's fabulous. So there we go. Figure out which way you want the front, which way you want the back. I'll probably have this at the front. And then we grab a piece of tea dyed paper, which is, or a book page. I have book pages now. <laughs> yes. Okay, let me find a book page. Okay, first one I grab is one of the ones from Bonnie. It's not big enough. Mm -hmm. I want it to cover the whole. The whole envelope. What else have I got here? Christas. Okay. Let's have a look. Let me have a look. I don't want music paper. How about that one? Will that cover that? Okay, let me have a look. I have book pages. <laughs> Very excited about that. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Yeah, good enough. I can always put fancy stuff up the sides. It doesn't matter whether it's on an angle. Okay, let's do it. So, I'll get rid of that one for a minute. And I will stick Stephen there. Just the more appealing side. And probably that one. All right. So what I will do is just have to glue the whole lot. So you get a good coating of glue. To wind wind it up out even. Alright. Try and put that as center as possible, which isn't very possible. That's no, not too bad. So we've got that. I know we've got leftover bits, but that's okay. It can be re glued. push this down with my wire. I really need to get some jelly printing done guys. Now that I'm back down here I need to make a mess. That's what I need to do. So if you want to join me on a jelly printing rampage leave a comment below and say yay or nay. Um, your wish is my command. <laughs> um, so there we go. So I'm just going to rip this paper off instead of cutting. It's a lot quicker to rip 
<laughs> All right. The same as this one, if I can rip it. If not, I'll have to cut it. Is it too small? No, I'll have to cut that one. Which will probably cut half of my cover away, but you know. Okay. So this now will become part of this. See, so this is the process. Look at that. So we'll just fold that again. Try and make sure there's no wrinkles, which there probably will be, but that's okay. We can handle a few wrinkles. So there we go. Nice little could even be a traveler's um, notebook insert could be about that size if not chop it down um, so once I've figured out what I want to put down the sides here which let me have a look in my scrap box and see what I've got um, what do I have what do I have that's not quite long enough. Neither is that. It's okay. What else do I have? Yeah. Yeah, these are too short too. Alrighty. How about some of this messiness? Yeah, we're going to chop this up. Let's do it. Let's chop that up. All right. So first off, I want to get rid of this little bit of white off the side. And I want to do at least, is that about an inch? Yep, that'll do. I'm gonna eyeball this, guys. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that, and then we'll do another one down the bottom. So this is just an old newsletter, I think. I'm not sure. Could be. Okay, so what we'll do here is put that along here. Yeah. Just mark that so I know where to spread my glue. All right. So from here down. Hope I'm in frame, guys. Right. So we got that. And this one. Oh, beautiful iridescent um, yellow there. Yeah, I've really got to get stuck into my paints. I really do. So let's do that. Red that is, and we'll rip these off. Mm. 
All right. So there we go. Now we have a nice cover for um, Traveller's Notebook insert. You can put your pages in um, or you can use this to make tags. Anything you fancy. But this will be made into a, I'll put a couple of pages in there, it'll be made into a little notebook. Um, like I said, I'm going to be sending out some happy mails, so um, I'll make a couple of these and a couple of tags. But yes, yeah, so there we go, guys. Just something that you can do um, with your scraps, um, your leftover jelly prints, your leftover painty papers. Um, scrapbook papers you know you can imagine the front of this all stuck with nice pretty scrapbook papers that you've got um, just gives you something different to make besides beads and things like that so that one's ready to be used so I'll put this over here what else can we do let me stick this down before I forget because um, otherwise It will end up back in my scrap box and I don't want it in my scrap box. And these white bits can be stamped on. I try and keep the straight edge. There we go. What's this one? Stamping on this put you over here oops I'm off camera and this now can be part of my collage so I'll stick this one as it's a corner piece I'll stick that up in the corner stick this one over here oh, where don't I have anything up here This one across here, across the centre. Yep. This is real sticky glue. It's pretty awesome stuff. And last but not least, this little fella. You can go. Hmm. Where is a little bit I haven't done? Is that right here? You can go there. There we go. And this bit here, well, this bit can be chopped in half, and I'll put one up here. You can live there. And you can come and live over here keep this little fella company there we go yep okay there we go so that's those bits of scraps taken care of now what else can we make guys what else can we make um let's make a couple of these tags like what did i do with those here let's um, use some painty papers on these ones I do have what do I do with those other ones I had Look, here's one it's got gold you see the gold flecks through it I think I love gold paint an old time sheet okay so will it fit that way yeah that'll fit that way all right 
let's do it. I'll stick both of these down on here. It's going to be pushed up here as far as it can go. And then you. And you can go right next to it. There we go. down make sure it's all um now where's the lid for this i'll put that on there just for now all right i'll try and do a better job with these ones no. still cutting into the cardboard no. Now, so if there's anything you want to see me make, guys, let me know in the comments below. Just give me a challenge or something. Give me something to do. <laughs> Not that I don't have anything to do, but, you know, just helps me out. Because that way I can keep you guys entertained by doing something that you, you like. Instead of doing stuff you don't like. Um... There we go. So, look at that. Isn't that just yummy? Look, ready for a background. So, what I'll do maybe the next video um, is I'm still working on that box. Um, it will be coming to you guys soon, believe me. Um, but I just want to give you something to watch in the meantime. Um, so, um, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me. Let me. I do have a folder here full of scrap bits of um, paper, like ledger paper and things like that. So I might use this um, back for one of these tags. Use this up. Look at that perfect fit. Absolutely made for that. Okay. Okay, let's do it. God, look at that. You were meant to be there. Absolutely meant to be there. Trim. Like I said, the option is yours whether you want to um, sew around the outside or we'll probably do that as they're needed. Um, but like I said, it just gives me a base for um, to work on. And it gets rid of my scraps. Okay. So there we So instead of using brown distress ink on this, I'll put a bit of stays on. Um, I do would use black paint, but my paint's in another section um, of the house. Um, so while I'm here, I'll just use some of this stays on. And I'll just go around um, the outside of this tag. Just gives it, an, I'm not sure whether you can see, just gives it a nice um, border around there. 
So you can either distress the other side or you can hit it with the black. And I'm just holding my pad on an angle. Um, so you can see, see the difference. And stays on's good, it's not going to go anywhere. So. Alright, so there's that. It's another little tag. It's another one. And what base am I going to use for this one? We won't do a ledger, we'll do a one of these old printer printer um, papers. Let's see if it'll fit on here. Uh, not quite. No. Have to do it on an angle. Which side? Might go that way. All right. You don't want to come up. You get back down there where you were supposed to be. Oops, not that one. <laughs> Gee, that was a close one. Oh, boy. All right. That would have been interesting. Right. So I'll put that down. I'll give it an angle to make that fit. Yeah, I'm a little bit heavy-handed with my glue, but that's okay. And, yep, that way fits the way you need. There we go. And you can come over. Now, oh, look, I'll just spread that over the top. Why not? It's only going to be lacquered eventually, anyway, with some P PVA glue or Mod Podge or something. Okay, so let's, you don't want to hang around, just stay, yes I'll stick you down in a minute. I think it's feeling lonely, it's um, wanting to join the other paper here. I think that time of the evening I should go up there and feed feed my child. Alright. Yeah, that looks nice on the back of that. Look at that. You can see a bit of um, cambric gauze that I had in between my papers when I was dyeing them. Well. Alrighty. So there's another one done. Um, I might black this one too. Why not? I'll make it pop out. So I'll give this one a quick go over with some black. Like I said, you can do black paint, you could do white paint, you could um, I don't know, gold paint. This is just what I have handy. And, um, not going to stress too much about it. So yeah, so this is what I've been doing, guys. Um, in between waiting for things on my um, next project to dry, um, I've been making these. So I thought while I'm doing them, I may as well come on and share with you guys um, how I use my scraps. So um, if anybody's up for the challenge, show me how you use your scraps. <laughs> Make a video, entertain me. <laughs> we all need entertaining in these tough times. All right. So what I might do is maybe embellish one while we're here. How about that? Would that be an idea? Um, so you can either give this a varnish now or later. This is pretty well sealed. Um, like I said, this is acrylic paint. 
um, from my jelly printing. So it's not going to go anywhere. Um, I wonder what a little cute, cute little, cute little thingy. Um, I don't know. I don't know. How about we make embellishing these things our next video? Yeah? And that way I can drag all these out. 101 uses for a cat food box. <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah, so the next video, what I might do is um, show you guys how to decorate, how I decorate, not how to, you can decorate them any way you want to, but um, how I then decorate all my tags that I've made. So here's two more to add to the collection. Um, there's that other one I did earlier, this one here. I like that one, that's really nice. So it's got gold in it as well. I love using gold paint and gold um, flakes on things. Some of these backgrounds um, have got gold flakes stuck to it. Um, and there's another one that we've done. Um, I might do black on this one too because it will stick to the um, PVA. So this one can be black too. I do have purple and like an aqua colour upstairs. So I might have to... Um, bring that down to the dungeon where they live um, like I said I'm still in the process of moving everything back down here um, I've rearranged I've put everything into boxes um, one day when I find my sewing machine completely um, I found a little bit of it the other day um, when I found it well, when I find it um, I will do a dungeon tour again 2020 but I just need to find um, spots for a few things first. Um, and we'll go from there. I don't think this is going to come off my hands for a few days, but that's okay. If I can't be messy, I don't want to play. Okay, so yeah, I like the black on these. Makes makes it pop. Yeah. So there's our little tissue box ones done. Um, I've done a envelope here. I'm going to do a, a few more of these security envelopes. Um, like I said, they make good. It's nice and thick now. So um, nice tags. You can pop some little bits in there and send them out as happy mails, um, which is what I'm planning on doing. So I will make a few more of these off camera. Uh, so I don't want to keep this here too long. How long have we been on? I have no idea. It's been like an hour. Um, but anyway, guys, um, that's what I do with my scraps. Um, my scraps become these, which then become tags or covers for journals, etc. Or even cards. You can make cards out of them. Um yeah, so, and all these bits here will become part of my next collage to make these beautiful things. So, anyway, guys, that's how I use my scraps. That's what I do with my scraps. Um, show me yours. Show me what you do. Tag me in it. Hashtag, I don't know how they do these things these days. Um, tag me in it so I can watch it. And, um... I'll be interested to see how everybody uses their scraps. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Um, give your loved ones a hug. They're precious. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay, thanks for watching.